up guys and welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. Today's video we will be looking at the brand new vehicle that Rockstar released today. The Emperor Vector. Am I wrong? I am not wrong. Because as you can see it's based on the uh, the Lexus RC. Yeah? I'm going to be honest. I actually thought it was the RX-8 when I first seen it in the trailer. Well on the screenshot on the uh, Rockstar Games website. But I guess I guess I was wrong. Anyway. 1.7 million. Definitely not cheap. I'm gonna send that to our storage and All right, guys, the car right has arrived. It is time to get the first in person look at the Emperor Vector. I like this. I like this a lot. Now, I'm not exactly sold on the rear lights, but they're not terrible. Ooh, that sounds kinda meaty. Alright, well let's see how many options we got for this car. I'm expecting a decent amount actually. Not gonna lie. Hmm, twenties I mean I, should, I guess I shouldn't be surprised anymore. A lot of these cars have uh, in the high 20s in terms of options, so I'm not going to be surprised too much. Um, there actually doesn't seem to be a lot of options for this car. See that? That's a BRZ right there. You look at that, that's a BRZ right there, I'm telling you. That's definitely a BRZ. Or GTA 6, whatever you want to call it. These are not amazing. Um... I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go for that one. Rear bumpers. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. These are nice. I'll probably go for that one. <gasps> mm. See, now I'm not so sure. I don't like the big diffuser, so I'm actually not. I'll probably go for that one. Yeah, that's probably the. Um, okay, engine block. Hmm, that's nice. I'm gonna go for chrome, of course. <gasps> Go. I don't know. I kind of like that one actually. Strut race. I normally go for. I'm gonna go for a chromed out one. But let's go for that one. And of course, level four. Okay. Exhaust. Actually, not a lot of exhaust, but. Yes, I love these kind of. <gasps> oh, they're even better. Yeah, probably gonna go for that one, not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of these two at all. Fenders, again, my view on fenders is that I just. They actually don't look that bad on this car, to be honest. They genuinely don't. I'm actually gonna get them on this car. I don't normally get them, but. You know, I'll explain why in a later video, but I don't usually get, get them. They actually look half good. Oh, no. What? A hood? Pro oh my. Uh, excuse me. No, thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. I kind of like these hoods. A lot of variety. Uh, I'll probably go for that one to be honest. No. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go for that. I think. Yeah, let's go for that one. Okay, we got the liveries. Mm, this is interesting. I kind of like the white stripes already. Ooh, they're kind of nice. Not a fan personally. That looks okay, I guess. The shopping list? No, probably not. Hmm, <gasps> that one's nice. That one is really nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna go for that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that one. <clears throat> mirrors. Okay, okay, okay. We need matching mirrors, and you know me. Right. We're gonna go respray last, of course, as usual. And, uh, a wing? Wait, we can get a second. Bro, I can get a second wing on here. I don't like it too big, so I'm gonna go for that one. Roof. Ridge line. I'll just go for the ridge line, I guess. I don't, want, I don't want too much. You know. Oh, they're actually not bad. I like them. I like them as well. In fairness. Mm, I think I'm going to go for the... No. Let's not. Let's go for... Let's go for them, yeah? Splitters. Mmm. <gasps> Interesting. 14 options is quite a lot. Definitely quite a lot. Mmm. I think I'm gonna go for that one actually. 
Yeah, I'm only going for that one, not gonna lie. Spoilers. My favorite part of every single customization video is the spoilers. It has to be the big, biggest wing. What? Depends what suits the car. Depends what suits the car, man. Whoa, where's the big ones? That's it. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Let's go. Uh, nah, that's a bit tacky to be honest. <gasps> Look at the stance. Okay, okay. I actually really like the wheels on this, I'm not gonna lie. Really like them. So, we'll have to see how it goes. See what wheels uh, the rock we can um, get. You know what? I might end up keeping stock. You never know, man. They don't look too bad, to be honest. Mm, no. Damn. Okay, so I actually haven't unlocked much, to be honest. I'm going to look at the street wheels. These came out in summer special, but I'm going to look at them. They don't look too bad. Actually, they really don't. They look nice. Mmm. Screw it, I'm gonna go for them and put them in. It's gotta be black. It's gotta be black. I actually really dig in the blue. So I actually might just get this this same exact blue. But maybe with a like a pearlescent or something, I don't know. I really like the blue on this car. Suits here man, suits it really nice. So I'm gonna go for a blue but the question is which one? I kinda like the blue that was already on it, so if you can find that same blue, that would be great. However, I don't think I see it. I guess I'll go for that, right? With a... Probably that. Okay, well, that's it. Okay, well, that is... Uh, oh, no, I see that's quite nice. Yeah. It's so low to the ground. I feel like it's going to scrape. But you know what? The only one way to find out, and the one way to find out, it's a test. All right, well... Here at the test track, I'm hoping how low it is won't affect the performance too much because this thing is sat on the ground. This thing is so low, it's crazy. I'm hoping the performance isn't affected too much, so we're gonna get a time trial going. We're gonna try and get three laps in. I think my best time is like 52.8, and I'm hoping at least try and beat that time, you know? So let's go, let's go. Three, two, one. Let's see how it drives, because not engaged how it drives. Oh, oh, it's quite responsive on the steering. Quite responsive on the steering. Mm. Not feeling a whole lot of power. Can't lie, I'm not feeling a whole lot of power. So handling is really good. Uh, handling is amazing. Can you turn the power. It lacks. It lacks. In terms of the driving experience, this might be like my second favorite, maybe, after the Supra. Supra handles so well. I don't think it's a debate. That's the best handling car in this update so far. In my opinion, anyway. I don't know what anyone else is, but for me, best handling car in the tuners update, for sure. Right, we're on to lap two. Try not to cut any corners. I feel like we've been cutting quite a lot of corners, I can't lie. Just, it really lacks power. The acceleration out of corners is from there. Top speed feels meh, but again, you can't really gauge top speed in this place. This isn't for testing top speed. It's literally just for like, seeing how your car drives. And this drives nice. This drives really, really nice. Just doesn't feel quick, you know. It hasn't got the explosiveness as of some of the other cars that I've driven. Certainly not the Calico. That's just a bit overpowered, isn't it, to be honest. The Calico is just crazy. Calico is just crazy. Even, with the, even without the stance and low, it just is really good. This handle's really nice, though. I like it. It's quite balanced. It's just the power's not there. For me, lacking power. I like driving it. It feels so nice to drive. Possibly my second favourite after the Jester, so... The Jester for me is still top dog. For me, still top dog. Handles, 
flawlessly. Doesn't overstay, doesn't understay, it just handles like perfect. So, it's not really a lot of faults I can find in the Supra. Like he even has power. This this lacks power a little bit, like you can tell. It definitely lacks power. So Ah uh, that's not too not too bad to be honest. Not too bad, but mm, I feel like we could have done a little better. We did cut a few corners. But this card doesn't feel very, very powerful. I think the the few cards that would have it be the super definitely one of them. Even the uh S2000 might even have it be on power, but you know what? It it looks amazing. Again, as a show car, this thing is so nice. The driving experience is also amazing, to be honest. It's balanced. Like it's better than the Mustang that I drove in the last video for sure. So it does cost a lot. 1.7 mil. It's quite expensive. I mean, <laughs> as you can see, my money is running kind of low. But this car is an interesting drive. I like it. It's it's really planted. That's one thing I will say. It doesn't overstay or understay the corner. The acceleration is lacking a bit. But for 1.7, it's, it's actually a really nice looking car. That'll be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. Uh, Twitch will be the first link. So yeah, um, but that'll be it for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.